Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Shop Essentials with me, Tom Sands. Today we are going to have a look at the Elevate Morton Tenon Jig, the Elevate M&T Jig for uh, bolt-on necks. This jig is specially designed for getting perfect alignment between your inserts in your neck tenon and the holes for bolts through the head block. So first thing to say is that the jig is made from machined aluminium and then we have some stainless steel drill bushings. These have uh, a number of different locations depending on the size of your mortise and tenon configuration. I tend to use barrel nuts that go through the side of the tenon. This jig will allow you to do both styles whether you use a barrel nut or a threaded insert into the end of the tenon. So this is one of my Model S guitars. We are ready to drill for the bolts that are gonna go through the head block. So this jig is designed for guitars uh, that utilize a three quarter inch wide tenon. I've got my three quarter inch wide mortise here. It's really important that the jig fits really snugly. If you need to pack it out with any shims, you wanna take care of that. So I have the jig sitting flush with the face of the guitar. Nice. That's really nicely centered. And now we'll take care of the neck. So like I said, you can use this jig with either your barrel nuts or threaded inserts going into the end of the tenon. And it would work exactly the same way. So you wanna make sure that the joint is nice and tight. You've got the jig flush to the top of the neck or the underside of the fingerboard. If you're doing the threaded inserts, you go in that way. I do the barrel bolts. So in fact, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm doing this sideways for your benefit. Normally I'd have it in my, my luthier's vice, but you know, that's how much I care about you. These are a really nice tight fit. You wanna be careful to make sure that you put them in completely straight. So that, all that feels really nice and positive. Again, remember if you need to shim it, do that. So once you've drilled for your barrel nuts, you're gonna go ahead and drill the clearance holes for the bolts. So the jig hasn't moved, it's still nicely in place. And as with all of the Elevate tools, I really, really appreciate the solid, sturdy build quality. All right, so next up, we're gonna to want to countersink the heads of the neck bolts. So we're gonna use the Elevate counterbore bit. This is a really interesting tool. It works by counterboring after the holes have been drilled. So you've got an adjustable shaft here with the counterboring bit, which gets secured into place with a little set screw. And then what you wanna do is poke that through the holes that you just drilled for your neck bolts. And then you're gonna take a Sharpie and just make a little mark to show where the counterbore starts. Take that out of the guitar and make a second mark, which is gonna be the depth that you want your countersink to be. Push this back through your head block, attach your drill. And once you see that second mark. So it's worth noting that because you are drilling in the opposite way than you normally would, have your drill in reverse. And so that's it. That is the variable M&T jig from Elevate combined with this super handy counterbore bit as well. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna get ready and set some more next. Till next time.